what we're doing is continuing our investigation into machines. This time you're going to post your own life drawing. So find a machine, any machine. You might have a toy car, toy train. What if you are a girl and you don't have any machine toys at all? What can you do? Go onto the internet and find your dream car. Is it something like a Land Rover Evoque? That's what I want you to draw. Now, I'm going to show you an example of life drawing from a toy and I'm going to draw this digger. So, um, quite a few people asked for more challenging lessons so life drawing is certainly challenging so I'm um, communicating my eyes uh, talking to my hand what my eyes see they're drawing it's up to you if you want to work only in black and white or if you want to work in colour. Now, when an object gets bigger as it's closer towards you, that's called foreshortening. Foreshortening is definitely a valuable skill if you can master it. It's one of those things where you might think it sounds easy, but oh no, once you just once you try, it's probably not going to be as easy as you imagined it. Even the simplest things turn out to be quite challenging sometimes. Look forward to seeing your Rube Goldberg machine parts. I've been a bit busy with other year levels and organising the Weave Silk Challenge judging. So I'm looking forward to getting on to Toddle and seeing what's all the stuff that I've missed. The plan is I will post the Weave Silk Challenge judged by Miss Loiter a day at a time and it will go over four days and you will find out who the winner was. Okay. With your Rube Goldberg machines, I'm going to attempt to Put them into a sequence. Uh, I might get away with not having to redraw them to make them make sense. We'll see. It'll be a surprise. I think this wheel is from the right angle. Looks pretty good to me. Now, to make it look Light lights hitting it. And what I'm going to do is do that with orange, yellow, blue, and purple. It's going to put the shadow in. Shadow across there. Mm. 
Okay, orange for my darker shadows. for the lighter parts. Let's do the same with blue for the lighter parts. Actually, I do I really like blue. Purple for the darkest shadows. Everywhere inside here can be in shadow. This will do it even darker. And let's use my dark blue it together because I don't have a silver. I think I'm just going to do the grill in light blue, a tiny bit of black. That's looking pretty good. Let's just tidy up that shadow. I think I'm pretty happy with that. So what we have is life drawing machines. I would like you to find your own, but you're more than welcome to copy mine or use an internet picture. I look forward to seeing your submissions.